it is a really difficult situation for the state. New Hampshire Housing says there is a crisis in the state. There are few homes on the market and about a half percent of vacant rentals. Because there's so little for people to purchase, that means that people who otherwise would be buying a home are forced to rent and that puts added pressure on the rental market. To fill the current needs of housing, there would need to be more than 23,000 homes or apartments built around the state. If the crisis continues, that number could jump to 60,000 units by 2030. But there are plans out there trying to address the need. That does make a difference. Invest NH is using $100 million to fund shovel-ready projects and help communities. This project will bring 30 affordable housing projects to all regions of the state. Those projects will create nearly 1,500 new units, and 918 of them will be saved for affordable housing. The units will range in size from three units to over 200 units, and the ones considered affordable will be for people or families making 80% or less of the area's median income income. This is just one part of Invest NH's project. $40 million will go towards municipalities to help their communities approve the projects, update or review zoning, and go towards grants for demolitions. It sounds insane, but it's actually achievable. He says if you break down the tens of thousands of units needed and work at it year by year, it can be done. But the state and local municipalities need to work together towards the goal. Some of these projects have already started around the state and need to be completed within 18 months. In Portsmouth, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.